So the professor talked about uh, blockchain and AI and made the point that he believes that they will uh, depend on each other to a certain extent, that AI without open data um, is really hard to do. And our next speaker is Dong Yang Wang. If you want to come up, you've got your microphone, right? Did they give you a microphone? You're going to use the one on the desk. Cool. And uh, this man, this man runs something called Deep Brain Chain, which rhymes, by the way, Deep Brain Chain. Uh, and he's an expert in this area, and we're going to learn a lot from him. So over to you, Dong Wang. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning. So I think Professor Zhang mentioned earlier uh, about the at and It's kind of funny to know the story. After years of changes and billions of dollars, uh, all the things at and changed from a consumer perspective, it's changed from a capital at and to a lowercase at t right? But from a consumer perspective, we don't really feel much of a difference. Uh, I hope the topic we are discussing today, as we are called the Global Disruptive Innovation Summit, uh, we can talk really about the disruptions uh, we can bring to the table. And that's why I want to introduce you to uh, Deep Brain Chain. Uh, I recently joined the company. Uh, I was the global AI lead for my dear group, uh, the second largest consumer electronics company in the world. Uh, we did a lot of AI projects there. Before that, I found uh, my own consulting company doing AI for four years uh, for Fortune clients. We have done a lot of AI projects. Uh, and meanwhile, since six years ago, I, was, uh, man I have been managing a VC fund specialized in AI company investment. Um, the joke is, uh, after all these years, I kind of invest myself into this company, uh, Deep Brain Chain, because I strongly believe the business model really Will, bring, uh, will really bring uh, disruption to the AI world. Uh, so uh, the topic I'm uh, discussing today is really Deep Brain Chain sitting at the golden cross of two megatrends, AI and the blockchain. That's the company uh, we're trying to do. And no need to say AI has a huge, huge market potential for the next uh, 20 years. Uh, it's going to be pervasive uh, in our life. Uh, but the Deep Brain Chain is going to introduce the blockchain uh, dimension into this. I, essentially, our vision is to enable uh, companies and users to share the three components, security on blockchain. Basically, it's the computing power. Um, people referring that a lot as the GPU uh, computing power today for deep learning, for example. Uh, and then the AI models. And then the last one is the data, as Professor John also mentioned about. We hope we can bring all these three essential uh, components. Uh, we can share them securely on the blockchain. And by doing that, we hope to reduce the cost significantly and also enable uh, companies to build up AI applications and product in a much, much quicker fashion other than today. So uh, as a person has been doing a lot of AI projects, uh, personally, I have done about 100 AI projects and products. This is real life projects for clients or for companies, not about R&D, self-study kind of projects. The cycle of AI development is very long. It typically starts with this uh, process. You uh, go buy an expensive server, right, GPU server. If you want to do big applications, you want to buy a, you know, or build a big cluster. Uh, like this is about 64 or 128 GPUs. Very, very expensive, uh, cost millions of dollars. And you need to have a team who know how to build it, how to install the software. And then if you have your team to build up the models, uh, collect the data, if you're lucky you have the data, cleanse the data, label the data, annotation, build up data sets. And after all those work, you can start training, right? And then you find out the issues, or you iterate. It's a very, very lengthy and uh, you know, tedious process. Uh, we require large investment of hardware, software, and resources. Uh, if you're lucky, after a few months, you can get a very good model developed per your data set and per your business problem, and then hopefully that model uh, can be used for your real world application or product if it's not, in most of cases, go to the shelf, right? I think most companies probably experience this. Uh, we develop an AI model after so much investment, and then it goes with some research paper or patent or just sitting on the shelf, but never hit the product line, never generate revenue. So that's actually most of the cases we are seeing today. And most of companies, auto fan or BAT companies, uh, at least from my own experience, I work for a Fortune 380 kind of company. 
And my management team always come to me, why you guys require so much investment all the time, right? Why you guys need to invest in all these data purchases and the platform, all those things. So it's a very, very expensive process. So from a, a deep brain chain perspective, we hope we can connect three things. Uh, we all know in the dot-com days uh, 20 years ago, internet br brought up the liberation of uh, productivity. And we believe the blockchain really bring us the value system, really connect us to have different value exchanges. And the AI is the brain of almost everything going forward. And we hope to connect these three things together to really enable using the blockchain as a foundation platform and then use AI to drive the thinking, decision, comprehension, sensing, all those decisions. And then we can share that on the distributed decentralized system over the internet. So that we believe is a multiplication uh, effect that can bring in huge productivity gain. Uh, so like we mentioned, we are going to connect computing power, uh, model, AI models, and, and the data on the block, DBC blockchain. And this uh, implies uh, you know, data marketplace, model marketplace. Uh, but also, more importantly, I think we are uniquely positioned as the only company in the market, uh, in the marketplace right now, we're the only company actually we're offering a comprehensive solution for AI training. Because we are going to sell uh, you know, AI mining workstations. Uh, the pre-sale will start uh, a little bit later this month. We're going to sell the mining uh, stations. These mining stations not only will enable people to do mining, like the Bitcoin uh, mining, but also it is the same workstation to enable people to do the deep learning training. Because they are CPU equipped. And uh, we have a very, very good uh, economy model we're going to announce later this uh, week uh, in Las Vegas in the AI Congress uh, conference. Uh, basically, company purchasing our AI mining machine will get their investment returned by mining in less than nine months. So in other words, uh, if I'm in an AI company, I spend about $30,000 or $40,000 to buy an AI workstation with eight GPUs. Uh, I basically bought them, and then they are sitting on my depreciation list. right? In the DBC system, by hooking it up on the DBC and by mining the DBC, in nine months, you get all those money returned, right? And then you can, be, through the mining the coins, based on the current price of DBC, not even considering DBC has, uh, DBC, the, the token has huge potential to appreciate. Uh, so with that, we believe we can quickly have thousands, if not tens of thousands, GPU AI workstations established uh, from now to first half of 2019. And if we have 10,000 AI workstations, each of them have four GPUs or eight GPUs, as you can imagine, very quickly will become the largest GPU competing power in the world, right? If we have like 40,000, 50,000 GPUs, those will be huge resources even AWS or other cloud providers will not be able to have. Uh, but we'll be, we will be able to provide that through the token economy. And those stations will offer us good foundation to allow our customers to utilize those computing power in a very, very cost-effective way. Uh, our estimate is about 70% cheaper than if you either buy them or rent them from AWS or other cloud providers today. So that's our immediate goal is to become the largest, one of the largest GPU computing power uh, within the next one year. And second is uh, we are going to enable all these mining machines uh, through like a one-click turnkey software configuration. So you will be able to have software, the common popular uh, AI toolkits installed very quickly. Uh, so your team don't have to go through all the tedious process. Uh, if you ever have done those uh, uh, softwares, you know there are so many open source packages you have to work through and configure. You never know what's the, what is optimized unless you have a very, very good and experienced team. So we'll enable that. We'll keep updating the software. And also, we'll actually optimize the software to make the training the most efficient as we can. And we also will. Uh, step by step, being able to distribute uh, AI training across the different uh, workstations and nodes as well. And with that uh, computing power in place, and we're going to have models and data as well, we hope to attract all the AI companies to be our partners, join the DBC ecosystem, uh, and also uh, to offer the customers uh, you know, the best services as we can. So if you look at the picture, uh, you know, the previous page is almost like an arrow, right? The, 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 the point of the arrow is the applications. Because at the end of the day, we want to build the DBC ecosystem to really enable the applications to, uh, to help our customers to build real-world applications, solutions, and product, which bring business value. 
right? Our goal is not to do academic only to say we build an ecosystem on blockchain and we issue tokens and that's done, we're done with it. We want to enable our customers to really utilize the system to build applications faster and cheaper. So with the application side, uh, we are going to incubate three lines of applications this year uh, to use those applications to validate our platform requirements to make sure the platform really works and also to use that to attract customers and offer customers value. And those three lines of applications, uh, including data analytics, which we believe there are, there are a lot of uh, uh, usage, especially machine learning uh, models, feature engineering, all those kind of things, so the large audience. Another one is NLP, both from a voice and a text mining perspective. Uh, those have a large usage. And another uh, line of application, we kind of keep it secret right now, we're going to announce later this year. But we also believe that, bring in, well, that will bring in a large audience and uh, huge value to our customers. And with that, we are not trying to build all the applications on our ecosystem. We are trying to really bring this as a showcase example, and we can uh, attract other companies and the contributors to really build more applications on our system. So hopefully with uh, those uh, uh, ecosystem, we can lower the computing power cost by 70% and uh, increase the time to market uh, of building AI applications from months today, right? Basically reduce from months uh, to, day, uh, to days. So we believe by sharing and by enabling, uh, leveraging all the idle resources, uh, we can make that happen. That's why we were saying we want to be the, the Uber of the AI computing, right? Anytime we want to, uh, we can enable sharing, we can enable leveraging, the cost will go down and efficiency will go up, right? If you are an AI company, uh, like uh, we used to do, if you have AI computing powers and uh, workstations or cluster, uh, you know what will happen is, uh, what happened often is actually when you have many, many projects, you don't have enough computing power. When you don't have many projects going on, your workstation is just sitting there idle and causing electric power, right, it builds for you. So you can contribute that to, to the DBC system, so when it's idle, you can, you know, get a tokens a reward by, using this uh, in the system and then contributing this to other people to use, right, and mining. Uh, but if you have need, you don't have to build and spend time to build a uh, new system. You can just purely just uh, leveraging and rent the extra system from the DBC uh, ecosystem. Uh, so from a blockchain perspective, uh, blockchain is the fundamental uh, foundation of the DBC system. We actually did a lot of uh, uh, innovations uh, of blockchain and uh, our blockchain team is actually very strong. Most of the people coming from BAT and uh, uh, large distribution uh, background. Uh, so just to highlight a few, so we are designing this with a high scalability, basically one million TPS and uh, one billion network nodes. We're doing vertical and uh, horizontal sharding. There are quite some innovations we're doing. Uh, security, uh, because the overflow problem uh, recently in the last week, there must be a lot of concerns. We are doing both passive and uh, active security management. Uh, we're also we're actually going to, since we are an AI company, we're going to use AI to proactively ma uh, monitor the anomalies on the network and uh, really detect uh, you know, issues. Uh, from a network architecture side, we actually have a hybrid network architecture, both uh, uh, like Bitcoin, the decentralized net ar architecture, but we also have the fast lane to enable uh, fast communication. Uh, the consensus part is really the part uh, we actually did a lot of innovation. Actually, we're in the process of rebranding this because our consensus model uh, for the statement here is actually a really an understatement. Uh, we are doing DPoS, just like EOS, uh, basically, uh, people have large ownership of the tokens will have a, a bigger say of the consensus. But also, meanwhile, we're also doing proof of importance and the proof of resources. Uh, so basically, the people can uh, part have a, a regular frequent participation, contributing competing power, and also storage and uh, models will have bigger say as well. But the importance of this, the proof of importance for us is randomly selected. So we randomly select on the wrong time those uh, nodes uh, have active participation. And then combining with the, uh, the, the DPoS nodes, so we collectively made the decision. Because of the random selection, the security is much, much strong because nobody know, you know those random and selected nodes uh, you know, other than us. So from an AI perspective, our focus on three things, uh, hardware, software platform, and applications. 
so from the hardware side, uh, in later this month, we're going to uh, start a pre-sale of uh, our uh, AI mining machines. Uh, so there's uh, basically three ranges. Uh, the middle range is two GPU, four GPUs, so smaller machines. Uh, the middle, uh, the large range, this is a four GPUs and eight, eight GPUs. And most of the AI companies' needs, uh, I'm not talking about super large needs like autonomous driving, uh, can be addressed by the eight GPU AI workstations. And then the super large ones, uh, we are going to uh, build uh, ourselves and also work with some of our partners uh, on this kind of supercomputer clusters with like uh, 16, uh, 34, 60, 60, sorry, 16, 60, 32, 64, and 128 GPU clusters. So all this will be uh, 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 professionally built and hosted. Uh, so the my new machine, like I mentioned earlier, our econ economic model is if you buy these machines, if within nine months, you will get full reinvestment return, right, based on the current price. Of course, the price goes up just like bitcoins. Uh, our uh, uh, GPU number will increase, right, so, but the uh, returns still stay the same. Uh, from a software perspective, uh, we are working on two tracks. Uh, one is our end vision to have distributed uh, deep learning training across network nodes. Uh, that's a cutting edge area uh, in the research. I think a lot of people are working on it. We have a lot of good ideas of how to enable that to happen. And then meanwhile, our short term goal is to enable have the best and the most efficient, the easiest uh, single node uh, AI training. In other words, if we have thousands of AI workstation nodes on the network, on the DBC network, uh, a person can issue AI training tasks and then can, a remote node can respond and offer the training, right? And have secure model and secure data delivered and utilize the computing power on the other side and give you the training. And so in that way, you don't have to have on any machine to do AI projects. Uh, from an application perspective, I mentioned earlier, we're going to incubate three lines, and this again to showcase, uh, to validate our platform, and meanwhile, uh, we are working with a lot of the AI companies uh, to partner, uh, get into the DBC system. We actually got huge interest from a lot of the leading AI companies want to get into DBC system because they can attract uh, a lot of the uh, customers, especially medium and smaller customers uh, on our system. Uh, just in this case, I think they see the opportunity instead of uh, doing sales with companies earning dollars, uh, they can come to our ecosystem and quickly scale and earning tokens, uh, which is essentially the same income. Not to mention our token, we think we have a, a lot of appreciation uh, potential. So uh, in summary, uh, we are uh, an AI plus a blockchain company, uh, and uh, our fundamental blockchain is a public uh, chain. Uh, it's also an AI foundation chain. Uh, we, want, we definitely uh, work very hard to try to position our uh, AI chain to enable other AI companies to be successful, and also enable all the companies with AI needs to be successful. Uh, we kind of have our, our eyes on the stars for the distributed AI training, and meanwhile, we have our feet on the ground for efficient, easy, single node and, uh, you know, kind of a multiple nodes a collaboration, a distributed uh, computing training. And uh, we also want to incubate the, uh, the, the apps, and our mining machine will be pre-sale. Uh, that will be a huge event, a milestone for us. And we're establishing a, a Silicon Valley uh, a research center, AI plus blockchain, uh, the company just announced last week in South Korea, we're actually going to invest $100 million for the next three years uh, to in Silicon Valley for this research center uh, because company really value a lot in the technology uh, and uh, cutting edge uh, research and also partnership with the AI uh, uh, and the blockchain community in the Silicon Valley, both technology and also investment. So we're very, very uh, much open to uh, talent joining us in Silicon Valley and also uh, we are open to have partners and the investment communities are talking with us on the opportunity. We personally believe we have huge, huge go, uh, up potential. I think by this morning, we are around the, from, by the circulation uh, market cap, uh, we are around 110, 105-ish, uh, but we believe we have huge potential and we believe we have the most comprehensive vision uh, in the AI plus uh, blockchain area and uh, we have you know, we, we enable the whole system to have you to come to only us, right? You can get everything done, right? It's a one-stop shop. Uh, our main chain will be up online uh, in Q4 timeframe. Uh, so that's in the white paper, and uh, we're working very hard on it, and we're very confident that we'll hit that uh, uh, milestone. And the last and least, uh, we actually are working with some AI startup companies to issue tokens uh, on our chain. 
Uh, so that's why we're saying we are AI foundation chain, because a lot of the AI startups, uh, the good startups, uh, it's very hard uh, for them to raise capital and they take a long time, and also they will, once you raise capital, there will be dilution. Uh, the beauty of uh, tokens is uh, once you raise uh, uh, the tokens, uh, you don't really have much uh, dilution and the cycle can be very quick. And we see great opportunities there. And since uh, my investment fund for the last six years, we have been handpicking uh, you know, uh, AI companies uh, from, uh, every year we look at about 500 companies, we pick about uh, eight or nine companies to invest. Uh, so those companies naturally become very, very good candidates for us to issue tokens uh, on DBC uh, ecosystem, and eventually they will run on the DBC system. So from those angles, uh, uh, I think DBC, personally I believe DBC has huge potential both from a technology perspective, an application perspective, and also ecosystem perspective. So we definitely hope to work with uh, uh, the Silicon Valley community uh, together uh, for any partnership and uh, collaboration. Thank you very much.